Great. Thanks for doing this. Uh, let's start with that. You've been getting a lot of uh, really good notices from these first couple of weeks of camp. Uh, how do you feel like you've played, and, and what's your goals for this season? Uh, well, I'm going to start with my goals. Of course, it's my last run, so uh, I want to start. And I feel like um, I've been playing well, but, you know, I got to stay consistent. You know, I got to bring it every day. So that's about it. Ben Brenner. Jabari, what have the, the last two seasons been like? For, first with that first year where it seemed like you kind of had a, a pretty small role, and then how much did you feel it kind of expanded last year? Well, um, it definitely was – uh, something to deal with because, you know, I felt like I could play and I felt like I was able to. But um, once I started looking at it, you know, from a coach's standpoint, you know, I just had to gain their trust. You know, I, I had all the trust in myself, but I had to gain their trust. So, um, I mean, that's behind me now. I'm just focused on the future. Hale. Hey, was your focus during the off season? Obviously, a different kind of off season than normal. But what did you try to to hone in on as you were uh, kind of doing stuff on your own? Well, um, I mean, just like every other student athlete, uh, a big focus on is just preparing every day. You know, being the best player you can be. That's really the main focus. Just getting better every day. And, and you come into to the year, you know, knowing it's your last season. And, and probably, you know, putting a lot on yourself. How, how difficult was it kind of dealing with everything and having to be away and sort of putting things on pause? Was it kind of nerve-wracking at times, I guess? Maybe? I mean, it wasn't really difficult, man. I'm, I went Juco, uh, played a little bit at the beginning. So, like, my mind was built for it. You know, um, I stayed here, trained at Apex, uh, trained with Savelle Newton. Uh, I mean, I just – I really was focused the whole time, you know, mentally making sure, you know, I stayed in the best shape physically. So, I mean, it wasn't really hard to me. Colin Taylor. Jabari, JJ obviously spoke before you and said some really good things about what this defense has looked like the first week of camp. How have you, you know, what's the defense look like to you and how excited are you guys to get out on the field and, and kind of show that in front of the fans? Well, you know, of course we're excited to get out there and show everybody what we got. Um, at times, just like JJ say. We look great. You know, our biggest thing, we got to focus on being more consistent. You know, no down days. We want to stay, you know, up every every day. So that's our biggest thing, bringing it every day. How do you guys stay consistent? I mean, is there a trick to it or is it just kind of I mean, blocking, yeah. you know, it starts with leadership. Leaders got to lead, you know, start, you know, even on me. I got to bring it every day. It starts with leadership. Uh, right now where we at, the leaders on defense, of course, you know, they're leading and they're doing what they're supposed to do. Well, you know, just start with leadership and the young guys, they'll they follow. Eric Boynton. Jabari, what's, what's been kind of the biggest uh, motivating factor for you to, you know, play this season despite the obvious risks involved with the, with the COVID-19 environment? Well, um, at first, man, you know, COVID is a lot to take on as a, you know, student athlete because you're going to be around people or whatnot. But uh, Coach Muschamp, the whole uh, athletics department, they got a, a great plan and system, you know, for us to stay as safe as possible. So, you know, really uh, COVID is not really my concern right now. I'm concerned on, you know, playing the season or whatnot. But they got a great plan for us. Did you consider it all opting out for this season at all? Uh, nah, nah. I never consider opting out. Um, I did. I did had a um, – at first it was kind of rough for me because, you know, it was COVID. You know, everybody, this is a world pandemic. So I, I went through a little um, little, little something there. But I talked with Coach Muschamp, and, you know, he kind of explained everything, and I, I was clear. Once, he, once I talked to him, I mean, I was, I was all in. David. Thank you. Jabari, you mentioned uh, that, that you trained with Savelle. Uh, during the offseason, what kind of things did he kind of, I guess, implement into your usual workout plan? I mean, it wasn't nothing special, man. We were just, I was just looking for a good workout. You know what I mean? He he got a gym down there. Um, just looking for a good workout. So, you know, I did a little boxing, cardio, fast tempo, just anything. Ben? Uh, 
I, I know I, I'd seen some social media posts dur during the summer about you kind of uh, getting out in the community, working with kids, and I was wondering if you could tell us a little more about well, what that kind of work entailed and, and what kind of led you to it. Well, um, I got to take you back, man. I'm from uh, the low country called Holly Hill, South Carolina, a uh, very small town. Everybody knew everybody. Um, a lot of guys, a lot of kids around there, they don't really get a chance to see, you know, somebody making it to the next level or, you know what I mean? So I just feel like I took it upon it myself to really, like, be the one that the kids can see and, like, visible see, you know what I mean, and give them hope, you know, in any way. Like, I, I can just be around. Just being around is enough, you know what I mean? I get messages from kids around the area, you know, just, man, I seen you today, you know, whatever the case may be. I just want to inspire and, you know, let them know that it's possible. Horace Mitchell. Hey, Jabari, how you doing, man? Um, I know you talked about just grinding through JUCO and then sort of having to work your way through the first couple of years you were on campus. So how does it feel just to know that it seems like everything's sort of coming together? You've been running with the ones and it's all kind of coming together your final year. Well, you can't really look at it like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, dating back from high school, JUCO, whatever, I never really look at, like, where I'm at. You know, I always look at where I want to be. So I don't look at, like, oh, I'm with the ones or this, that, third. I just look at it, get better every day. Joe Gorchow. Jabari, hope you're doing well. Following up on what you're talking about and this journey, what has allowed you to stay so patient and stay true to the progression with your career to create this type of type of opportunity for mm -hmm. your senior season? Well, um, just like I said, I'm built for it, man. I done been through a lot in my life. So, you know, I'm built for it. Uh, I train my mind. That's a, another thing a lot of student athletes really don't harp on, you know, mentally that you, you got to have a strong mind to play this game. So, I mean, I train my mind. Uh, I'm built for it, you know. I look at adversity straight in the eyes and uh, take it on. So that's about it. Did you ever have any doubts? Oh uh, yeah, my first year actually. My first year, you know, I had a little doubt. It wasn't as far as what, uh, me not knowing what I could do. It was just as far as, you know, not hearing it, you know. But then again, once I started showing flashes or whatever the case may be, once it started rolling, it was rolling. Colin? Or you kind of talked about the mental aspect. What goes into mental training for you, and how do you feel like that's really benefited you over the course of your last couple of years here? Well, I mean, it's no different from anybody, man. You know, you go through something in life, you got to find a way because either you're going to fold or, you know, you're going to stand up and, you know, get through it. So, um, anyway, man, I just train my mind or whatever, you know. Just I always think about this quote. Uh, it said, through every dark, it's a brighter day. So I always, you know, look, just little sayings, quotes, whatever the case may be, just to keep me focused and keep me right. Dick Cox. Jabari, with all the unknowns going into the season, what is the biggest concern that you have about this upcoming season? Um, well, my biggest concern is I just hope we get to play ball the whole 10, 12 games. That's my only concern. I'm strictly on football. You know, I'm focused. Hale McGranahan. Obviously, you guys have a handful of JUCO guys on the team and have had others over the years. Do you guys have, like, a, a special kind of bond or a little, little click or something like that? <laughs> no, guys, the JUCO you know, boys. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. JUCO boys don't got no group, man. Uh, we kind of just – Click and bond all as a team, you know, we are a pretty tight team. So, you know, it's not no special, you know, group. But, I mean, just going Juco, you kind of look at it just like, all right, I'm in Juco too. That's about it, though. Yeah. Colin Taylor. Our coach Muschamp said a couple times that, you know, live a boring life. He's, I guess he's probably said that to you guys more times than you can count. Um, I'm curious how you're spending your time. Uh, this season, any new shows you're watching, or kind of is it? Are you living that boring life? What's it like? Um, yeah, of course, I'm living the boring life, man. Uh, I mean, to be honest, I'm really enjoying it. I'm relaxing a lot more, recovering a lot more. Uh, as far as new shows, uh, I ain't really started watching no new shows. Actually, I don't even really watch TV like that. I got, um, 
I type I typed up on a piece of paper, it's possible. So I got that taped all over my TV. So I don't even watch TV like that. But uh, it, the, the the biggest problem, well, the biggest part is, you know, making sure the younger guys are living a boring life because, you know, they just getting to college or whatever the case may be. But uh, as far as older guys, I don't think it'll be hard for them to live a boring life. All right. I think we're done, Jabari. Appreciate it. Right, thank, thank you for your time.